perfect, Hallelujah. where Christ is both our mother and our father. Hallelujah. Amen. As a father, he's always leading us. He's the conquering lion. He says, you got to win. you got to have dominion. you got to overcome. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's the sacrificial lamb who died to leave us the comforter, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So he won't leave you as an oh, orphan. Thank I'm going to send you a comfort. Amen. Because you're going to need a lot of nurturing yes, you do. in this terrain. Wrong. And a lot of nurturing because I'm expecting you to give me everything as a sacrifice. Amen. Yeah, amen. Give me your life so I can be your God. Give me your marriage. Give me your family. Give me your ministry. Give me your work. Give me your profession. Give me your uh, give, me this, uh, give me your life so I can have dominion through it. God expects to give you all but he expects you to Give him all. Amen. Amen. Those who don't expect any sacrifice, you're not going to get anything from God. From the beginning, they had to sacrifice animals. So too now, we become that animal. Living sacrifice. Amen. Living sacrifices. Let's pray. First of all, the Lord, King of Kings, we're happy to be under your headship for Christ, the head of the church. Yes, Lord. We thank you for being in the body. Amen. Where even when we are ignorant of your leadership, Father, mm. we are so merciful through others yes. to supply us, Hallelujah. teach us restraint, mm. and protect us. Amen. Until we all come to the height yes. and measure yes. by which all men shall be measured. Amen. And your body growing. Father, up to full maturity, yes, building itself up in love, mm -hmm. holding fast to the head, yes, Father, and through the joints and ligaments, empowered by the Holy Spirit, growing, Father, as a rising edifice, pleasing and acceptable unto you. Amen. How great are you, Lord, and how great is your body. Yes, Lord. And we look to you today, Father, to subside our will that thy will be done. We thank you for saving us, sanctifying us, and raising us up. Yes, Lord. And connecting to things far beyond our hopes, our dreams, our imaginations, through the power that super abundantly works through us, Father. Yes, Lord. And we just commit all things into your hands right now, Father. We'll listen to us. Open our eyes to see, our ears to your heart to feel and comprehend. Grant us utterance, Father. And grant us the grace to realize, Father, how we are connected to you and connected to each awesome. other. For this is the move in the end times church. Oh, to you be the honor and glory and the power forever and ever. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How are the saints today? Excellent. Ready to be encouraged and for the nurture. Ready to be nurtured. Yes. Hallelujah. The Lord uses the church to Amen. nurture each Awesome. Hallelujah. When you see we are lacking a deficiency of the pastor, yes. just call and nurture that brother or Amen. sister. Amen. And, Amen. and you have to know when to comfort yes. and when to discipline. Amen. You know, we, we, we're not very good at that. Sometimes when we should be mothers, we're fathers. And sometimes when we should be fathers, we're mothers. Amen. Eli was supposed to discipline his two sons. They were terrible yes, they were. in the tabernacle. Yes, because, of, because of the two sons, because of Eli's negligence, uh, the Israelites, they lost the heart of the covenant. Yeah. He I was supposed to be a father. He was about, I'll let them off. God's like, don't let them off. Perfect. Discipline them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. There's a time for discipline. The Lord disciplines those he loves. Yeah. And there's definitely a time for no. comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Christ said, come to me, all you are heavy, laden, and overburdened. Yeah. Not so I could put more burden on you. Yes, I could do to you. Because discipline is a burden. Yes. Come to me just so I can give you some release. Perfect. Some relief. Perfect. Some refreshment. Perfect. Some rejuvenation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for mothers. To this day, when I go home to my mother, <laughs> and I still go home to my mother, <laughs> believe me, there was, there was a part of me that didn't want to go home to my mother, and the Lord's like, She's your mother. Amen. Honor thy mother. Amen. Father, honor the leadership yes. and honor the nurturing. Perfect. Where would you be without it? You Perfect. wouldn't move anything forward Perfect. and you wouldn't even have the strength to do it. Perfect. Wouldn't be around. Wouldn't be around. Amen. Hallelujah. 
you know, I, I still go home to, and when I go home to my mother, I still feel that atmosphere of, son, it's good to see you. Amen. Son, I prepared this. My, my mother's way of showing love is, is, is to make this huge meal. You know, my mother has worked so hard for her family that she has no cartilage in her knees. That is a crazy kind of sacrifice. Amen. <laughs> what person is motivated to, to give up their bodies? That's mothers. mothers. That is mothers. Can I testify so quickly? Yes. The other, yesterday I was driving Brianna. Yeah. And we were going to get her hair done. And for the longest time, I've been saying, I'm going to get my hair cut, I'm going to get my hair cut. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just doing things. And she said to me, she goes, why don't you ever do something for yourself? And yes. it's like to the expense of doing, why don't you just, yes. why don't you ever do anything for yourself? You know, yeah. it's to the extent that mothers just go to just make sure everything's taken care of. And then that last little bit of energy is usually to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. You know, and, and I realize why, why do, why do mothers have this motivation and nurture? First of all, they have love. Second of all, they have a perspective. When, when, when we see Kaya, we all want to nurture her. Why do we all want to nurture her? And yeah, I, I was wondering, it's like, why? Because we see her as helpless. Yep. Do you know how God sees us? Amen. <laughs> helpless, Amen. weak, ungodly yep. sinners, yes. enemies. enemies of the cross, uh. yet, he died to put his son in us. Amen. So immediately when we are saved, we are justified, we are sanctified, we are generated, Amen. we have the indwelling of Christ, and we have full empowerment. Yep. Not necessarily we walk as it, not necessarily we realize <laughs> it. <Amen. laughs> so at first we were actually helpless. Now we're helpless by ignorance. Perfect. But we're still what? Helpless. helpless. If we did not see Kaya as helpless, we would not we what? nurture her. For some reason... My mom still sees me as helpless. I think mother's all I do. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, she puts this huge food in her, as if I don't make enough money to feed myself. If I don't have a store full of food downstairs, yeah. she is like, have you, 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 you need to eat so she'll cook the like, guy. I'm like, what is wrong with her? They're just, I thought that was tough to do. Yeah. And my sister go over deal with us. Yeah. They're weak. I'm like, no, they're not weak. Exactly. Because <laughs> never mind. As, as see who was ministering, I looked at Kaya and I could feel the Lord whispering it. Mothers nurture because they see them as helpless. Yeah. You know, the, the, what, what, what did Christ do when he was around? He goes, look at them. They're like sheep without a shepherd. Yeah. They're harassed. Yeah. They're helpless. Yeah. Everything is in the wrong priority. Perfect. The enemy is in them and around them. They can't do anything. Perfect. They can't even balance their... Everyone has a weakness. You may not think you're helpless, but under the light of God and under the proper trial or pressure, your weakness is always what? Exposed. Revealed. Amen. Amen. You know, I was lamenting about uh, someone I had to help at work, and the Lord was like, why are you complaining to me? They're not strong enough. Amen. And I'm like, oh, I could only see the objective. Amen. I couldn't see <laughs> their <laughs> statements. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? The Lord's ready to Yes. And, and, and a nurturer always sees you, right or wrong, yeah. in, in a state that Perfect. you can't help yourself. So I'm the only one that can Perfect. do it. Yes. Yeah. They don't see the right or wrong. They, they don't see, the state. Yeah, they just see your, your helpless state. You know, and, and my mother still sees me as helpless. Yeah. You know, and, and um, now that's not necessarily the right perspective. <laughs> but God always sees us typically as what? Not until you get to the height of measure by which all men show you measure. Not until you get to the right hand throne of God and you're dominating the territory and you're integrated into the body does he say, okay, you're not so helpless anymore. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. You know, we have to climb the mountain and we won't get there unless he what? He leads us right. and he nurtures Perfect. us. Amen. Christ said, apart from me, you can do nothing. nothing. <laughs> you know? Now, that, that to many people in the world is odd because people in the world have that have pride. They go, what do you mean I can't do anything? I can do a lot of things. No, you can't do anything pleasing to God. Amen. Which you you're designed to do. Which you're designed to do. And you can't do anything to defeat the enemy, Perfect. which again you're designed to do. Perfect. Hallelujah. So we're, we're caught between these two extremes, between God and, and, and the enemy. And we have this... We, we've somehow crafted this life of, of this tiny ability we have, and we think we're sufficient. Yeah. You know, when we first come into Christ, it's like we're in this cube, and God has to break open the dimensions. Mm -hmm. 
You know, he has to break open the front so we see before. He has to break up behind so we see where we came from. He has to break the side so we can see the, the, the width and the height and the depth of, of where we are. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we're going to look at that today. And, and mothers, I love mothers because Mother's Day, in the Bible it says God uses physical things mm -hmm. to teach spiritual things. Mm -hmm. So that if you don't get it spiritually, at least you can get the idea physically. That's why Christ talked in parables. Mm -hmm. But a mother is, is a wonderful physical parable of spiritual reality. Yeah. Because a mother has characteristics that we definitely need in our spiritual life Amen. to give you an idea. Amen. To know, remember, everything begins with an idea or an ideal. And Paul said, I have to lay a hold of it. Amen. Amen? Amen. Just like we can, we've can, we laid hold of our mothers and we're all nurtured by our mothers, so too we have to lay hold of Christ as what? A nurturer. Amen. As a comforter. Amen. Amen? I don't know about you, I need a lot of comforting. Amen. Because mm -hmm. I get miserable a lot. Amen. <laughs> I drive myself crazy a lot. <laughs> um, uh, David said, Too long have I lived with the one who hates Peace. <laughs> there's, there's people all around you in this crazy world trying to disturb your peace, and you have yeah. something in you that likes to be disturbed in your peace. Yeah. You know that, that's why the Bible says they know not the way of peace. peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mothers are always trying to create what peace, peace. for their children. The Bible says, I, the Bible says they, God will wean us. Amen. Amen. So we stop our fretting and our craziness. Amen. Exactly what God is doing. That's what you're doing right now. Kind of just nurture her to sleep. Just nurture her to sleep. Uh, Hallelujah. You know, whenever, when, when I watch Jen with her child, I see so much love, so much sacrifice. And I see Jen look at her child and, and go, even though I'm tired, you're helpless. Yeah. I got to do <laughs> something. Yeah. You know, Chuck is busy protecting and providing and yeah. performing the, that. Right? Yeah, yeah, working the outer structure. Yeah. You know, I'm going to get the magazine. I'm going to put it right Jen's like, Okay, but we need this for Kaya, this for Kaya. You see, I see Chuck in the morning, he runs up with all the bags. Gotta do my duty. Come on back down. <laughs> and Jen comes up. <laughs> As you're talking, I'm looking at this. I see Chuck to be the man. But then I see Jen being the mother. <laughs> she's, she's laying down Kaya like. <laughs> you know? And then Kaya first, I said. <laughs> and she goes to the other room, she sings. I'm like. Now, if those two are not the perfect roles, I'm, I'm like, this was just demonstrated in front of me. Amen. What a wonderful marriage this is in Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. God designed this perfectly. But then the enemy made us fall. <laughs> destroying the whole thing. And, and, and to appreciate mothers, and to appreciate what mothers mean to us spiritually, let's look at the path today. Amen. Let's go right back to the beginning. Because this is where we can appreciate mothers. From the beginning, God has instituted, established His way of righteousness. Amen. His way of righteousness was to create a family. Yeah. You know, Anessa sent me an email. There's, a, there's an organization, a Christian organization called Focus on the Family. And they're trying to preserve what? The family. Yes. That is God's institution. You mess with that, you mess with God. Mm -hmm. It's like if I mess with this iPhone, I mess with Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs' legacy. Mm -hmm. If you mess with family, you mess with God's design. He's not happy. That's my work. That's how I made things to operate. You know, we, we, we have all these stem cell research and everything, and God's like, you're messing with my design. Mm -hmm. That's why the enemy attack family so much. You know, my yeah. mom always said the house is designed to have the mother and father. Yes. Because each one carries a very crucial. That's when we mess yes. up the children. This, this was not the same sex. When you have two nurturers in a house, the child don't get, or don't understand leadership. Oh, they are very loving and, and like you know, like they can. Take, but ask them to take direction. They're like, mm. what do you, you know, perfect. They completely violate perfect. righteousness. Yeah. They can't get. Don't blame them. They don't understand it. Never seen it. Never experienced it. Perfect. You perfect. Know? And vice perfect. versa. You find a child so strong in dominant leadership, but they don't get yes. no sensitivity to people and things. You know. Oh, it, it's, it's so true. Mess. Like, like, it, more than ever these days, they're single, what, families. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? When I was in high school, that didn't exist. Mm -hmm. But by the, by, but now with, yes. you, know, uh, uh, you know, Hannah and Samuel, and I asked them, they go, oh, half my class is, is single families. 
Like there's so many single. In other words, and, and a lot of them don't have Christ, so which means they can't adapt. Right. They can't switch back and forth the roles, which means the child will always grow lopsided, out of balance. Yeah. Either other, uh, you know, either they'll know a lot of nurturing but be rebellious, or or they'll be very disciplined but be hard, hard. Yes. Yes. No, you've got to be able to submit and take direction, and you've got to be soft, what hearted. It, anyone that wants to be a leader, they have to be under leadership. Yes. Hallelujah. And you can't give love if you've never been what? Loved. We, we, we didn't love God first. He loved us, us first. Yes. Hallelujah. The family is, is, a, is God's entity and it must be protected. The enemy attacks everything of God. This is why the divorce rate is what? Like 50%? 60 It's like some astronomical amount. Amen? Because marriage is a mystery. God makes them what? One. He makes them harmonize. Amen? That their roles work together. Hallelujah? Let's, let's go back to the beginning to start. See how God instituted mothers as something to be honored and respected and revered. Amen? Genesis 3.20, right on your page there. It goes, The man called his wife's name Eve life spring. So immediately, the man had an ability. He could discern. He had wisdom. He could call it forth. He had, he, for men, men to provide leadership, they have to have discernment. They have to see where to go. So immediately, Adam had an ability. He could call things accurately. He could name his wife Eve because she came out of him. And she, when she came out of him, she got some of his ability, which was originally all in Adam. And that ability was the life spring. The life spring represents God's power, God's life force in you. We love mothers because mothers, for, for mothers to be mothers, they have to have a lot of life spring in them. Why? Because they're always taking care of a need. They're always, give, they're always giving of something. When mothers are around children, the children are always what? Demanding. <laughs> when I was a teacher, um, you know, and especially when I taught the younger grades, the little kids would hang off me and they're always asking me, I need to, my nose wet, I need to go to the bathroom, I don't understand this homework, I'm upset, there's a fight. They're, they always need what? Some, Kaya always needs what? Something. So they're always tugging at you. With, with the demands of, of motherhood, you better have the spring of what? Life. My concern with mothers is if you understand mothers and their nurturers and, and what they have to do and how they're always giving, my concern with mothers is exactly what Anessa said. Who will nurture them? <laughs> Who refreshes them? If you are giving out all the time, if you don't get a greater supply to supply the ones you're giving out to, you become egg-zhausted. This is a big problem. Not only with men, but with mothers, and mothers take care of what? The children. The secret of motherhood is they directly influence the children. The, the father sets up the structures and protects and provides, but the person that's spending most of the time shaping and nurturing and training the child is what? The mother. The mother. The, the, my concern with mothers all the time is like, bring them into Christ, because Christ will refresh and rejuvenate what? Them. My mom is tired out. My mom has worked her whole life. My mom has spent all her physical strength. She's in her 70s now. You know, my mom is in Israel right now in the Holy Land. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for covering and protecting and directing her and raising your love and grace, patience, and perseverance. But the thing I'm concerned about my mother all the time is will she be rejuvenated? But mothers want to give, but when they don't have enough life to give, when they're depleted, they become what? Impatient, upset, cranky. cranky. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, nothing there. Yep. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, and the Lord was instructing Chuck, listen, you've got to make sure that Jen has time to be in Christ to rejuvenate her life. Sprint. Mm -hmm. Her going to church, her going to fellowship, it's not just for her. It's for you. It's for Kai. It's for everything she has to nurture, including you. She will just get to spend out. Amen? Mothers, my mother is the classic mother. She has given us everything. Amen. Unconditional love, worked herself to the bone, 
they just don't make them like my mom anymore. <laughs> like, that, that, that generation is gone, man. It's, it's the me generation. It, that, that generation is gone. I just don't see that anymore. You know, this new generation, they're, they hire nannies. And, I don't know. They do all sorts of things, but they don't give the personal time. And they, they just don't give their all. I just don't see that anymore. Amen. Amen. You know what I mean? not, not like my mother's generation. Yep, they're different. So my, my concern always with mothers from this scripture is that he was the life spring. When she got disconnected, she didn't have enough what? Life. She was too weak. She was too weak. The, our, the, when you see mothers and them being depleted, and they will get depleted, Listen, you can cover for them. You can help them out physically. But what they really need is the springs of living water. The, in Jeremiah, God was rebuking man and he said, Israel, and he said, you've done two things wrong. You remember what it said in Jeremiah? It says, you have forsaken the fountain of living yes. waters. Yes. You're relying on natural strength. Perfect. Supplements, exercise, yes. you know, I don't know, uh, yeah. Dr. Phil. Oprah, you know, this help, self-help book. Bro, Every, sister. Yeah, everything, everything natural you rely on. What is our faith? Our faith is, I'm going to reach for a life source, a source of energy, power, that's not material. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's faith. That's faith. That's and, and typically, when everything fails in the physical, mm -hmm. this is when we reach for it. What a waste of time. Yeah. Because you yeah. need it right now. Yeah. You're simply not enough. Mm -hmm. Man was disconnected originally from the life spring. Perfect. And he has been a victim of the enemy. Ever. It's not that we don't want to be holy. It's that we're not strong enough Perfect. to be holy. Yep. We just can't. The, the, the first thing in Romans 5, it said man became what? Is weak. Yep. He first became weak. weak. I hadn't realized, oh my God, I'm losing. He, he, <laughs> he tried to reach yep. for the, the life force. Yep. He said, God said, it's too late. You're corrupted. Amen. You're weak and you're corrupted. That's why God has to, that's why the Bible says, I'll save, sanctify, and raise you or empower you. Mm. All of us need to realize we're corrupted and we're weak. Mm. That's why we need the life spring. It washes us clean. Amen. And it rejuvenates, strengthens, refreshes what? Us. Amen. When you see mothers or when you see people exhausted, pray for their life spring to be what? Refreshed. And guess what? You can be the refresher. Amen. Mm. In this Jeremiah, it says, it says, you have forsaken the fountain of living waters. You're disconnected. And you have honed for yourself broken cisterns. Yep. <laughs> when I look at that scripture, I see the fountain of living waters as our connection to Christ vertically. And I see the broken cisterns as us out of the body of Christ. Because we receive supply not only through communion, we re receive supply through each other through what? Fellowship. Amen. The trees are connected. Amen. You know, for years, by God's grace, you know, Sifu and I, we, we talk. And, and, and it never fails that when he talks to me, I don't feel refreshed in some way. Mm -hmm. It never fails. It could just be one word he'll say. But instantly, I can feel my spirit, the, the, the living water start to what? Flow. Shouldn't that be with everybody? Amen. 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 Yes, it should. Yes. Aren't we supposed to be the, isn't the bread for the children? Isn't, Perfect. Aren't we supposed to give bread to what, everybody? And even the world should get the, at least what, a crumb. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody should be refreshed if you have the life. Because the life spring isn't for you. Perfect. It's for what? Everybody around Amen. you. Amen. When a, spr a sprinkler is for what? All the grass around. Yes, Perfect. it's for you. But, it's, it, but you don't get so much just for you. You get it for what? All around yeah. you. Yeah. Mothers, you, Anessa has this desire. She just wants to help more and more. You know, Thanksgiving could be bigger. You know, more plants, more children, <laughs> pets, dogs, cats. She was like, I draw the line of cats. <laughs> she just wants to nurture more and more. The life spring, the desire of the life spring is what? Enormous. Yeah. Yeah. God, God wants to, to, to uh, save, sanctify, and refresh what? The whole world. Amen. Billions of souls. Amen. Amen? Perfect. The man called his wife's name Eve, life spring, because she was the mother of all the living. Amen. No one 
could be alive without, uh, without what? A mother. Mm -hmm. Amen. Listen, one of the reasons why God is against uh, homosexuality is very simple. There would be no human race. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It's impossible. Amen. God did not design it that way. Everyone came through what? A mother. Amen. She represents the life spring, where life grows in her and life what? Comes out of her. In this way, she represents God, because God is the God is the source of all what? Life and light. Amen. He's the source of it all. Mothers are sources. They're springs. She is this portal to release life. Yes. That's why Christ said, if you believe in me, springs of living water will flow from your innermost belly. We're all portals, we're all doors, we're all outlets. Right. Perfect. We're all like sprinklers mm -hmm. that are supposed to relieve from what? Life. Life is supposed to spring, not just springs, but it says rivers. Mm -hmm. Rivers are much more forceful. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Minimum, you should always feel a spring, a bubbling mm -hmm. brook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you want to serve the body, if you want to stop living in a broken cistern, if you want to mend, mend the, the body of Christ is like this huge <coughs> cup, like this huge well. Mm -hmm. and, and, and God says, okay, help you, the, help, help plug all the holes because I want to fill it what? Up. Mm -hmm. I want it to overflow the whole Amen. body. Hallelujah. God fills you to help plug the holes so he, he can fill what? The others. It's like all the champagne glasses overflowing. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we can't forsake the fountain of living waters. And we can't forsake the fact that the body of Christ is supposed to supply and refresh what? Yes, each, each other. other. Mm -hmm. yeah. Each other. You know, see who says that, that there's times when I preach that he feels refreshed. I go, thank God. Pretty much because all the time. He, he refreshes me all what? The time. All the time. All the time. Thank God for the body of Christ. Because mm -hmm. when we're down and dirty and we can't connect this way, we can always call a brother and sister to Amen. 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 It powers me with life. Because you don't just have the life spring. Jackie has the life spring. Amen. Chuck has, Jasmine has the Amen. life spring. Nikki has the life spring. Amen. We all have the life spring. We all have the same <coughs> life. Hallelujah. Perfect. The, the, this light, this light, this light, this light. All these same different power. lights have the same power. electricity. Hallelujah. Not necessarily the shining to the same extent. Some is 60 watts. Some is 100 watts. Some is 100. But they all shine light. All send the electricity. They all, set, they all can rejuvenate you, refresh you in some what? way. Amen. When you look at mothers, you're supposed to be reminded that they are portals of life. And that's what I'm supposed to what? Be. Amen. No matter how tired my mom is, she's like, eat, son. <laughs> she's trying to refresh me. Amen. Hallelujah. Wonderful ability. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That is the beginning of it. That's why God said, honor your mother and your father. Yes. They represent my nurturing ability. Yes, if Lord. you dishonor them, you dishonor me who created them. Amen. They reflect me as I am supposed to reflect them. Amen. We are one. Let's go to Judges 5.7. It goes, the villages were unoccupied and rulers ceased in Israel until you arose, you, Deborah, arose, a mother in Israel. A mother is more than just for children, more than just for families. There are mothers of cities, nations. A mother is a concept. There are people so strong like Heidi Baker that she can mother all of Mozambique. Amen. It, yes, Katie, is, is Katie Smith, I can't remember her last name. She's the one that uh, uh, of the ministry in Amazama. Uganda, Amazama. Amazama. Yeah, yeah. She, she's a mother. She's an amazing mother. And her ministry is growing and growing and growing. Without the life spring, without the life spring strong enough, you can't mother Perfect. a no family, no. let alone what? A nation. Yes. Yeah. And it would encourage them to grow, to yes. expand, to develop. Yes. Mm -hmm. do, do you know, do you know uh, the prophecy for Sifu? He used to be a father of what? Yeah. Nations. Yeah. Uh, Anessa is supposed to be a mother of nations. Yeah. The, you need a lot of life spring for that. Amen. There's a lot of people to water. Amen. Perfect. <laughs> One of the reasons why Sifu is so strong is because he's constantly what? Watering. Mm -hmm. You have this is why he never misses communion. Why? He won't have enough water for Simple anybody. Truth. Christ woke up at three o'clock in the morning every day. Yeah. Why? I need enough water every day. Yes. There's a lot of dryness out there. Yes. There's a lot of desert out there. Perfect. Without enough water, nothing will grow. Perfect. Hallelujah. Perfect. 
the villages were unoccupied and rulers ceased. So rulers, leaders, they also need nurturers. Yes. When a, when, when, when a mother of nations always works on the leaders first. It's just like Moses. He wasn't strong enough to do it all by himself. So his anointing went to other what? Leaders. And they took care of the rest of what? Israel. You know, uh, in, in, in um, Heidi Baker's ministry, she has sprung up like 500 churches with 500 leaders because they will take care. It all trickles down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They're not just, not just, I'm not talking about just the first mother of which all mothers are based on, but there are mothers of nations, mothers of territories. Yes. The kingdom of God is when you take over territories. Yes, geographic. And, and there are Amen. mothers in Amen. the kingdom that will nurture that of all territory, Perfect. that will wow. see what they need, pray for what they need, wow. provide for what they need. And, and if she has the anointing of the Father too, she will also see where they need to what? Go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for Anessa, because Anessa perfectly balances our beloved seafood. Amen. Anessa is, is the most amazing nurturer. Amen. I've, well, I've never seen someone so natural with children. Anessa just when she children love Anessa. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, with Kaya, I can't make Kaya laugh. I can try all I want. Mm -hmm. It takes two seconds for Anessa to make Kaya. I go, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so comforting to the child. The child is just so full of what joy. Mm -hmm. You know, if the child had to run maybe a track meet or something, I could train him to get into shape. <laughs> <laughs> you know? When Kaya's older, she'll appreciate me. Yeah. <laughs> you need development. We can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand strict I'm, training I'm, methods. <laughs> I'm, I'm way on the discipline, training, leadership side. I'm so far on that side. <laughs> and like, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and the Lord is training. Yeah, the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Sleep, eat, deny yourself. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why do you need to sleep? <laughs> sleep and eat yeah. them suckers. <laughs> well, you know, but, but you know. As the Lord softens your heart, you do balance. Yeah, you, man. You, you do balance. Yeah, you man. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Because you see more. <laughs> yeah. As you see more, you see what they need. Yeah. 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 The, the leaders, they don't see their need. Yeah. They just see where they need to go. They need to go. They lock in. Yes. They lock in. You know? No. No. For, for a marriage to work, for a father and a mother to work, they have to see the needs. They have to know their parts. Yeah. Hallelujah. And not step on each other's toes. Mm -hmm. When they see the need and they see the priority, then things harmonize wonderfully. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, uh, unless there are mothers of nations like Deborah's or, or Heidi Baker's or, or Katie Smith's, I tell you, the nations will not have leaders. The right. nations will fall apart. Yes. The villages will be unoccupied, which means they're barren. Yeah. They're not prospering. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, you know, like like every great leader of a country has a woman supporting them. Yeah. Every great leader. If you read about Lincoln, his wife supported him. Yeah. They always have this. It's either a wife or a mother. Yes. It's some Correct. nurturing figure. Yes. Because they can't take the pressure. See things differently. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's move on to Second Samuel twenty fourteen twenty two. We move from the life spring to the mothers of, of, of nations, to a very particular mother in the Old Testament. Amen. Joab went through all the tribes of Israel to Abel of Beth Maka, and all the Beerites assembled, and also went after Sheba ardently. Mm -hmm. Now Sheba is a rebel. This is the time of David. David has overcome Absalom, and, and, but there are still dissenters around. Remember, Absalom was his son. He created civil war. He tried to usurp David, David with his mighty men. You know, mighty men in, in, in Hebrew is the gibberim. The mighty men. David with his mighty men, he took back his, his leadership, which was rightfully his. But Sheba was a rebel that tried to fight against David, that didn't want to follow David, tried to raise up other people not to follow David. But David is hunting him down now through um, Joab, his general. I, I, looked, I looked up the etymology, which is the word origin of Sheba. Sheba means a lot of things, but the origin of that word comes from a word that, which means splinter. Mm. Mm. When, I, when I looked up splinter, you know, the first thing I saw was, you know, this giant rat from Ninja Turtles. I go, no, no, that's not the splinter. <laughs> 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 no, the splinter is when you break <laughs> off something from wood or bone. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. right? So, so a splinter is something that has been separated from the whole. Mm -hmm. Sheba is a splinter. He's separated from the whole. And he doesn't want to come back. All right. He wants to fight. Wow. This is why we're enemies of what? The cross. Yes. The cross allows us to what? Link back. Yes. Without the cross, we can't end our separation. Perfect. Once we separate, there's something in us that wants to stay separate. Yeah. I, me, mine, the self, the individual. These are my feelings. This is my mind. This is my ideas. This is what I like, what I want. That's you. This is me. There's no we. Yeah. So, so, and God is all about oneness. Yes. If you abide in me, I'll abide in you. Perfect. I've made you one in me. I'm in Christ and Christ is in me. Perfect. God is all about unity. Yeah. It's the unity spirit. Yeah. <clears throat> right? It's something Amen. that you see. It's something you apprehend. It's something that's yours that you lay hold of. Amen. But if you have a splinter, that thing will always be a thorn in your side. Yes, like a thorn. Sheba yeah. or splinter will always bother you. Mm -hmm. but th there are some things that you cannot make peace with. No, mm -hmm. not at all. In, in the Old Testament, it says, listen, these, these tribes, the, these, uh, these uh, Philistines and, and Grouchy Neighborites that, mm -hmm. that, that uh, Joyce Myers calls them, mm -hmm. you know, the, the Amorites and the Ammonites and all these ites, mm -hmm. he says, I want you to destroy them all. If you do not destroy them, they will be pricks in yes. your sides and thorns yes. in your eyes. They're always going to splinter. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're always going to fight you. They're always going to bother you. They're always going to be in your way. They're always going to oppose you. You'll never have peace. You'll never have harmony. You can never move forward. So there are some things you cannot make peace with. We can't make peace with the enemy. Not at all. We can't make okay. peace with our, with our old nature. It's yeah. sinful. Right. It's weak. It's ungodly. It likes to sin. It doesn't want to harmonize. Amen. You can't make peace with it. Mm. God says, that old Adamic life, I want you to put it to what? The cross. Yes, got Amen. Enough. He goes, And all the Barites assembled and also went after Sheba ardently. And they came and besieged Sheba in Abel of Beth Maka. Now, Abel and Beth Maka is a city. So Sheba, Mr. Splinter, Mr. Rebel, Mr. Individual, against the king, against David, against the ruling government, is mm -hmm. hiding out. Mm -hmm. And they cast up a siege mound around the city. Mm -hmm. And it stood against the rampart, and all the men with Joab battered and undermined the wall to make it fall. Mm -hmm. So Joab is going against Sheba. He's hiding out in the city. And Joab is going to tear down the wall of the city. The whole city is suffering. The whole city is under siege because of one person. Wow. Everybody is suffering because of one person. One splinter. Can make your life one splinter. Down. Yes, th th this is why, I, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Jonah. When Jonah was on the boat, yeah. everyone is suffering. Yeah. But Jonah had wisdom. It's because of me. If you throw me over, everything will be fine. Yeah. They throw him over, suddenly there's peace on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes your life is crazy because God is after one. Yes. You will cut off something that has to go. In your, your life. You will, yes. You this, this, go. Splinter, you gotta, this splinter cannot be merged with me or the body. Amen. This thing cannot be amalgamated with me and you. Amen. This is the Lord talking about you. Yeah. I can't allow this thing in. It has to what? Go. You have to Amen. throw it overboard. You have to let it go. <clears throat> and, and oftentimes the thing that we, we want to hang on the most is the thing that God wants you to what? Let go. Amen. Then a wise woman of the city cried, Here, here, say to Joab, come here so I can speak to you. And when he came... Near her, the woman said, Are you Joab? He answered, I am. Then she said to him, Hear the words of your handmaid. He answered, I am listening. So notice, notice immediately she says, Hey, I'm a handmaid. I'm a nurturer. I am listening. Then she said, People used to say, Let them but ask counsel at Abel. And so they settled the matter. So Abel was a mothering city. It was a place where you could find comfort and solutions and get refreshment and help. I am one of the peaceable and faithful in Israel. You seek to destroy a city which is a mother in Israel. Why will you swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? Now, an inheritance of the Lord is something that's supposed to pass on from generation to generation. Yeah. It's never oh supposed to be destroyed. Amen. Mothers are never supposed to be what? Destroyed. Their mm -hmm. legacy. Mm -hmm. Job answered, far be it, far be it from me that I should swallow up or destroy. That is not true. But a man of the hill country of Ephraim, Sheba, son of Bichri, has lifted up his hand against King David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. 
And the woman said, Behold, his head shall be thrown to you over the wall. Then the woman in her wisdom went to all the people, and they cut off the head of Sheba, son of Bichri, and cast it down to Joah. So the splinter, the renegade, was destroyed. Perfect. So he blew the trumpet, and they retired from the city, every man to his own home. And Joab returned to Jerusalem to the king, because he had accomplished his what? Mission. Yes. The Holy Spirit has been sent to comfort us, but also what? Discipline us. Yes. If you don't like the discipline, the discipline of the Lord is always because you're hanging on to something that God wants you to let go of. And on all the evidence. Yes. It doesn't belong yes. in this city. Yes. Throw it over the wall. Yes. The wall is a separation. Right. The, the cross is like the wall. Yes. On this side is everything of Adam. Yes. But you're on this side. Yes. When you mix the two sides, God will never stop disciplining and He will never empower you. Yeah. In fact, if you refuse to let it go, eventually He'll go, I have to disregard you. I, you will lose favor with me. It's not that I don't want to. It's you refuse to throw this unholy element of weight. Amen. On the one hand, we must never fight mothers because they are an establishment of God. On the other hand, mothers must not harbor things that destroy the, the mm. divine child What in them. Perfect. Mm. If Jen is a good mother, she will get rid of everything that doesn't allow her to nurture what? Kaya. Mm -hmm. This is a mother's city. Everything in that city must be what? Nurturing. Or no renegades, no rebels, nothing against the king. Because that city has to get the support of what? The king. Amen. They have to be unified. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. this, this scripture is for sanctification. Perfect. If, 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 the, if that mother city is to be in alignment with the kingdom of God, then all the rebels have to be what? Removed. Perfect. God is always trying to bring us into something larger than ourselves. But we have to remove the renegade elements. These renegade elements are always the rebellious parts of us. Yeah, the self-righteous parts of us. The self-gratifying parts of us. The, it's always some aspect of self. It's me splintered off from God, me splintered off from the body, me not committed to the head, me not committed to living for others. Mm -hmm. In the body, that's called the cancer. Mm -hmm. That's Perfect. something that's renegade, that's not living in harmony with everything one mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. Sheba's hiding out in the city, in the holy city, but he ain't. The, he doesn't stand for the city. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to destroy the order. Perfect. You see, you know, this tells me that you know where Satan hides the most? Yeah. In the church. Well, well, uh, this, is, this is where the man's side comes in. Because you take advantage of the yes. nurturing. You understand? But he's not supportive of nurturing. This yes. is where the Lord said, some will lose mother, some will lose brother, some will lose sister, some will lose children. You go, that side that doesn't stand for me, it has to go. I don't care who it is. Yes. Mother, sister, brother, wife, husband. Yes. But they will always go to the nurturer. Yes. You see this in a family, a father yep. lets his son steal. You cut the father, the son out. Yep. The mother will you sneak in, and the mother will give him food and different things to keep it going. Yes. Because she's a natural nurturer. Yes. The man hence that relationship. Yes. You know, yes. Perfect. God will give you the life spring if you want to. The life spring is to serve the greater body yep. and to be integrated into the greater body. Yep. The life spring is so powerful, it lifts you out of self. It lifts you out of individuality. It puts you into the greater what? Collective. Yeah. Well, the, the, the thing with, with, with Sheba is, all of us have some kind of aspect of Sheba in ourselves. Yes. We cannot move on. <clears throat> You're simply not strong enough unless you throw Sheba out. Perfect. Because it's blocking what? The life spring. Amen. The life spring flows for you and for what? Oh. Others. If you want to just live for you, you can never get the life spring. Amen. Mm. Because it's not designed for you alone. It's for the entire one. The Bible says the anointing flows what? From the head yeah. down the beard down the shoulders to the whole what? Garment. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. The more you get rid of Sheba, any elements of you that are unholy, selfish, individualistic, that just wants to live for me, what I like, what I want, you know, and that doesn't feel like they need anybody what else. You always know Sheba because he's a splinter. He doesn't feel he needs anybody Amen. else. There's parts of me I notice in the light of God that I don't feel like I need anybody. Amen. That's scary to me. Because that cuts me off from, from the, the body. And, and I start to live in a broken system. Mm. I'm, I'm broken from the, from the body, the embodiment. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
must be Jesus. If we want the life spring, we must get rid of all the Sheba elements yes. in us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, good mothers, they eliminate everything that stops them from being the best they can be so they can nurture what? Amen. Others. Amen. Amen.